was a good day. Bonnie's on my pillow. If it was a bad day, she'd be on that pillow. Good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a great day. And you know why it's gonna be a great day? Because we're wearing our car hearts. Stand up and show me your pants, boys. Or don't. No, that's fine. Yeah, don't. Look at those car hearts. And look what daddy's wearing. Car hearts. You just sat on Cody's arm. Oh, good. That's fine. That's just fine. We have a work day today. Me and Boston have three lawns we gotta go take care of today. We gotta go help Uncle Jared, my brother Uncle Jared, do my parents' lawn, which we always do, and Bonnie's parents' lawn, which we always do. And these two have a half day. Sweet hair, bud. Hey, why are you leaving it like that? Yeah, it's cornbread and chicken. Yeah. FYI, Alan Jackson, bucket list concert. Big old pile of sheep to work. Get out of my truck. Like your cowboy boots. I have been here. That's, that's good to know. Well, you guys, it's noon. I'm still in my robe. I've attempted to change 5,000 times, but other better things have come up. And the kids just got home from school because it's an early out. Yes, I've been crying because I've had a wonderful morning. I've had an emotional morning. It's just a morning. Like, it's just a regular stay-at-home mom kind of morning. And I love it. It's great. I look terrible, but it's great. The kids just got home from school. Cody, what the heck is the matter? Tell me what you've been having a bad day with. I actually kicked a ball at somebody's face and I hit a ball, my head on a bar and I accidentally ripped Olivia's paper from her book. So let me ask you the number one question. Was it on accident, all of those things? Or did you do them on purpose? Accident. Okay, so let me ask a few more follow-up questions. Was the kid okay at school that you kicked with the ball? Yeah. Did he cry? Yeah, but he I said did. sorry. Oh, and what did he say? Okay. And when you were climbing on the monkey bars, how, was it on the monkey bars that you hit your head? What bar was it? Well, I was just, we like to play soccer, so I, and sometimes balls get lift out because people, the janitor doesn't see them, so yeah. I was under so he wouldn't see it. So you were hiding the ball? Yeah, but. And did it work? Did you hide it from him? Yeah. But we only okay. had one recess today. Then I was pushing the ball up so it wouldn't stay, so I had to get a little closer, but then it hit my head and again. Oh my heck. Did you cry? No. Holy crap, you're so tough. And what book was it that you ripped Olivia's paper out of? Was it a library book, Olivia? Yes. Guess what? All those things are just fine. And guess what? We can still have a good day. Okay? Okay. Guess what? Today's grandma's birthday. Seriously? Seriously! Okay. We're still gonna celebrate here by making a pie. That's a surprise? <laughs> no, that's not the surprise. I think my favorite part about coming down today is every time I came down on a lawn day, I was in Frank, and he had to go really, really slow, and I was able to do actually the speed limit. It was awesome. I didn't have to go 10 under the speed limit. It was great. We are just cleaning up the rest of this yard. We got it all the way mowed, edged, and now we're just cleaning up the debris. All the dirt crumbs. When I edged this, there was like that much of grass hanging over, and it makes these big, long, like, worms almost. The little Boston way to pick them all up. Fill this little garbage can full, that little garbage can full, and now it's up to Dad to just clean up the rest of the debris. And my dad showed up, and he's been blowing out stuff, doing way more than he's supposed to, so hopefully his doctor won't see this video. Ooh, what are those? I don't know. Oh, potato bugs. Potato bugs. Or roly polies. Or whatever else. Put them in your hand, they'll roll up like a ball. Man, they're just crawling all over you. You gonna bring those home? Yeah. No, you're not. Look what I just found. One glove coming right up. What do you want to name him? Sally? Hulk. The Hulk? Hulky bulky. Oh, Hulky bulky. Yeah. Hulky bulky. Well, I, had to guess. I don't think anybody else has that name in our house, so check that out, bud. A little salamander. That's so cool looking, bud. A little salamander. See, he's nice, huh? Yeah, but he's not moving. No, it's because he's cold. I put the glove on the animal so it can be warm. Oh, that's like a blanket. I bet he likes that. He's like the friendliest guy ever. Yeah. 
Bye, Hulky Bulky. Get warm in the sun. Get warm in the glove. In the glove. That's coming with me in two seconds. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. You're so cute. The only thing that was going to make Cody happy was doing his reflex math. Can you guys believe he's so obsessed with math? See, he has a pot, and then you can see that the baby flew into it. And then he turned in, and look at this. <laughs> All right, Cody, we are gonna make a pie today. I don't want to. I am not in the mood to bake a pie, but Joel is out being a nice guy and he has requested that I make him an apple pie using the apples from the tree. So I'm right now I'm looking for mom's crust recipe because it's dad's favorite. <laughs> If you will know, okay, hold it with that hand, use the knife, and scrape it out. Cooking with kids is definitely not my favorite thing to do, but it's a good thing to do. So I'm like, okay, fine, you can help, Arg. <laughs> You're doing a good job, though. Do you know that when I bake, I think about my mom, and I know that she thinks about her mom when she bakes. And then she thinks about her mom and it keeps going. If I could go back in time, I would definitely go back to when my grandma died and be more sympathetic to my mom. Because at the time, my brain just didn't understand what a big deal that was, because I was a teenager. But I wish I could go back and love my mom when her mom died. We're gonna pie. make an apple pie. Apples are still healthy, but where's the apple? Outside, we gotta go. Finish picking him. Hope it works. Cross our fingers. Cross your fingers. Ooh. Yes. Da, da, da. Mm, that smells like cinnamon and peaches. Mm hmm. Sorry, Joel. I was trying to make you an apple pie, but after getting into all of the apples, none of them were very good. So we're doing peach. So much for Boston helping me all the day. Grandpa offered to put Paw Patrol on for him, and Boston was gone. A week and a half later, the ghosts are standing. Mickey and Minnie are standing tall. Snowman, I don't remember his name. And they're doing pretty good. The only one that's not is the pumpkins. So we are going to rob Peter to pay Paul or rob Santa Claus Darth Vader to pay the pumpkins. We gotta still the fan out of one and put it in the other. Do a little bit of surgery. I always knew I would be a doctor. I just didn't know I'd be a doctor of inflatable balloon decorations for yards but somebody's gotta do that job. Somebody's gotta be that kind of a surgeon, and that's what I specialize in. So I'll make my first incision right here, just below it, so I've got a direct root up, and sometimes their skin's really tough. It has a hard time um, opening, incising, incision, whatever. Oh, and nurse, I need something stat. We'll cut that little zip tie, and he'll be free to go. Oh yeah, probably safer option would have been to unplug it beforehand. Hmm. Seems we've got a difficulty. This may not be salvageable. Turns out our first donor for this uh, surgery is not quite a prime candidate. So we're gonna go to the morgue, Walmart. There's a very clear reason why I don't go to Walmart without Bonnie, because then I start browsing and when I start browsing, I end up buying something. I don't know who's happier right now. Boston, because he's watching Paw Patrol, having a good old time. Or Grandpa, because he's napping with Boston. Nurse, when I cut this cord, it's life or death for these doggies. That's what these are, is ugly little dog. It's really is a kind of an ugly little thing. Oh, dogs are gone. Oh well. But Dr. Helene, did you just successfully transplant the first ever blow-up motor? Yeah, yeah, I did. I'll write a piece on this later. That's Bonnie, that's me, that's Lincoln, for sure, but for some reason his head's big. That's Olivia, because she's always happy. Boston. Because he's just a little bit bashful. Cody fits both of those personalities. He's a little wired and weird, so there you go. What are you smuggling, huh? What, what, hey, oh. what, what, you got one of those for dad? One of those for dad? Oh, 
You know what, bud? Those look pretty good. I'll let you have all three of them, okay? No, you'd have one. Oh, that's nice of you. You're gonna share oh. with me? Oh. The, I get the one that dropped on the floor. That's that's very nice. You coming home with me? No, I'm gonna stay with Grandma. You're gonna spend the night at Grandma and Grandpa's? You're gonna watch Paw Patrol all night? Totally forgot that we have parent-teacher conferences right now. And so we are just trying to get out the door. And Joel's not home yet, so I'm going to just take all three of the kids with me as I go, which shouldn't be too bad, right? <laughs> as long as Lincoln's okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Boston, can you believe where you're gonna sleep? A Paw Patrol sheet. A Paw Patrol sheet K. With a Lincoln, Paw Patrol, everything. Wow. Dad, and I'm gonna miss you. Oh, you're gonna miss me? Yeah. I wish I could say the same. But I would rather stay here with Grandma. I bet I would too. Sounds good. Paw Patrol. Pillowcase, sheet, blanket. I honestly don't know if you're ever gonna come home again. Well, I am. Should we go find some Paw Patrol pajamas? Ooh. Yeah? But I better get out of here so I, before I stop hurting your fun. Bye, Dad. Hello? I'm home. Doesn't anybody want to come see me? Doesn't anybody want to say hi to Dad? Did anybody miss me? Ooh, Bonnie made a pie. Mmm, that looks so good. Nobody makes pies quite like Bonnie. I don't know where they're at. Oh, well. He got hey. some trail mix from the, um... Cafeteria? Parent-teacher conferences. Oh, was he good? Oh, he was so good. He just sat in a stroller the whole time. I want to show you what the kids got. So we went into the book fair, and because the teacher said that their behavior was really good, his math, he's like excellent at math, and we're just need to work on reading with him. Mm -hmm. Olivia is the opposite. We she is super good at reading, but she needs to work on her math a little bit. I was having this conversation with my parents, literally, Exact same words out of my mouth. Like, this is what funny. I kind of mean things are. Daddy, look what I got. I want to show all of you. Look what prizes I got, Daddy. Where's the Hulk? Isn't that cute? Oh, that's fun. I got tons of stuff and it has this and I can oh, write things on. Okay, so let me show you the other one. The school gave her this book, which I thought was really nice. I think she's read a few other Humphrey ones. Mm -hmm. before. Yeah. And then she always gets these like pull apart pull erasers. Apart erasers. See, they, they pull apart. So, oh, kick. even the head comes apart? Yeah. yeah. Take the face off. That's... Oh, wow. And look at this. Wow. The mama's little koala. No, that's a kangaroo. The baby can even come out of the mama's Wait, where's the, where's little the tummy. So, Cody picked yeah. this book that they gave to him. And I won the prize. Did you give a mouse a mm -hmm. I, I know I've read that one before. Yeah. And he chose yeah, that one. And they all got trail mix. Isn't that fun? We need to figure out something to do for dinner. That's something. Oh, yeah. We have your leftovers. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Lincoln just got a paper towel and he's cleaning Whoa. up his it's mess. You're just cleaning up the table. Thank you. He's like, yep, spilled it on the floor too.